What's an expression? Let's let's start with that. What's an expression? Yeah, I guess you could say it that way. Yeah. So uh, it's just a bunch of terms lined up. There is definitely no equal sign because otherwise, if there is, it's an equation, right? So did we talk about terms and stuff? Let's do, let's talk about terms. Have we talked about terms in here? I know we did. But did we did we do that in here? Did we talk about terms yet? I don't know if we did that in here. Cheyenne, did we do that in here? Let's talk about terms then. What the heck? I don't think we did. What is a term? There's like a definition for it. This is an important thing. Cheyenne, you can't answer. Because you got what we already talked about. So, right, terms are very important because part of what you have to do is know a term when you see it. And they come in different forms. Term, term, term. Well, okay, so if you're looking at, uh, let's look at number just 15 right there. All right, there's number 15. But just the question of it. If that's 15, how many terms are there? How about up there? Like three. That one right there. How many, how many terms is that? You could say three. You could say two. Why would you say it's three? Because, like, x and then plus y. Like, so wouldn't that be a term? Or, no, seven x and y, right? All right, so you're saying every single thing is a term. Okay, then, Joe, why would you say it's two? No, because seven x is one. Okay, so he's saying that's one. Okay, I'm saying that's right. Okay, so we have two terms here, right? We got this one and this one. Okay, so then what's a term? Something followed by like x or. Okay, so it's a variable. Right, that's true. Okay, good. For some reason my eyes don't work. Variable. Okay, is it only variables? Joe say it's 7x, so it can't just be variables. What about like three? Is three a term? Mm -hmm. Could be a number, right? But then the seven x he said is a term, so you know the product of those, you know, or what's a product mean? To what? Um, to some the answer to, but you're on the right track. So not the, not the answer to an addition problem. So well, maybe. It depends on what your expression is. She's, she's close. I mean, she's on the right track. It's the answer to something, but not addition problem. What kind of problem? Multiplication, Multiplication problem, okay. So, or the product of number and variables. Okay, so, you know, for instance, right, this 7x here. That's seven times x, right? Okay, so we have one term and then another term. So how are terms broken up? By like multiplication. Mm -hmm. Or by um. Like well, okay, that's something separate. Yeah, that's something separate. Not just like how, like how does he know there's two terms? Out? I can't spell separate. Shine, can you check me? Sep is it separated? Or separated? Is it ah? Is it ah? Sep ah rated? Does that look right? Looks like a lot of A's to me, but I'm going with what you guys say. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I, we all know what it says. Right. If we could just say it's like a text. Mm -hmm. kind of just made it up. Mm -hmm. And that's that now, like, you don't even have to know how to spell anymore or anything. The phone just does it for you. You're like, oh. I think that's what I meant. Right? All right? Whatever. All right, separated by what? Someone, I think someone even said it. What are they separated by? Right, because we have this one still. 7x plus y. There's two of them. 
So what are they separated by? Like, how, like if, if this is one term and that's another term, what it's are they? Be in the addition. Okay, so or separated by addition signs or what's related to addition? They're like, they're like, yeah, yeah, subtraction sign. That's it. How's my handwriting today? Not too bad. Okay. Then we got parts. We need, we need parts of, so let's see, like, let's just use that one that we had. All right, we got 7x. There's three parts to a term. Okay, so you can, you know, there's this part, there's this part, and then there's this part. So this part's easy. What is that thing called? Yeah, that's a variable. Okay, so then what's this thing called? Yeah, so, okay, so it's a number, but when it's part of a term, it has its own special name. It begins with a C. Right. Uh -oh. Ms. Randall's messing my stuff up. <laughs> is that you? No, I'm not doing it. Don't be messing my stuff up. <laughs> That's on there forever now. Begins with a C. Sounds like, or rhymes with plus deficient. Uh, co Coefficient, yeah. yeah co I keep wanting to call it a consonant for some reason. No, I don't call it a consonant. We're not, we're not there yet. Well, well, we're never there, are we? It's actually well, like, no, well, well it's, not on this one, but. Consonants? It would be a consonant. Isn't that how you say it? Well, there's constant, I guess. Maybe a con that's yeah. it. Consonant. Consonant, yeah. <laughs> All right, what about, uh, gotcha, or do I need that? I want it. Oh. Awesome, thank you. I'll keep that forever. Page At least 10. Do. Page 10. What about this thing here? That's not there on this problem. Is that like, are you talking about where like the number goes? Yeah, usually, yeah, there's a number, but there is a number here. We just don't write it because it's what. What's it called? Why is, what is it? Well, first of all, like, what's it called? Yeah, it's an exponent, and we don't have it on this one, right? Exponents go here. But if there's not one there, what is it? What number? Yeah, what's the number that's, if, it's, if you don't write it? Mm -hmm. No, not zero, you have to write a zero. Huh. Yeah, it's one. Okay, so everything is to the first power. Everything has an has a exponent. You just don't write them if it's one. What's the exponent tell you to do? Multiply by x. Okay, so multiply the base, which in this case would be the x, by itself, however many times that is. Yeah, so it'd be like x times x times x. Times. Okay. All right, so anyway, we're just evaluating. Okay, so we got expressions taken care of because terms. Oh, sorry. Right, expressions. Are one or more terms added or subtracted, but you know, not e no, no equations, right? And all we're doing today is evaluating these. I think I wrote that on the first one. So evaluating, what does that imply? What are we going to do? We're going to do something to the variables. You're you're solving equations, so we're not we're not gonna do that yet. Well here, so here let's just we'll, we'll just start here. So fifteen, right? That's gonna be like I said, seven x plus y. Okay, and then it says also, right, four x equals three and y equals four. So what is it? What are they asking me to do? They say evaluate this. Okay, and so evaluate. So plug it into where it says. Simplify as far as you can. Okay, so super easy. Hopefully, 
But I will say, you know, one of the things that we talked about, I think in this class, you know, it really matters if something's inside of parentheses or not inside of parentheses. So what I would do, Jason, is I would set this up, right, and I would use parentheses all the time. So that way, if you, you know, because these are all positive, but if they're negative, you might have to square a negative. And so, you know, so this is three and this is four. And now you got to do your order of operations, which is what? Okay, so there's nothing really inside this parentheses. So then what? Okay, there's no x bonus. Okay, so then what does that give us? Wait, 21 plus 4, which is what? All right. Okay. How does that make you feel? The answer is good. The answer is good. Well done. Joey, pick another one. Anything? I'll do two more from 15 to 28. Pick any of them. But don't pick the hardest because then I'm done. Definitely done, sir. There's an exponent for you, Jason. So R, they're saying they want it to be mm, 3, and S equals 7. All right. So again, I would, uh, you know, these are pretty easy, but if you use parentheses, you're always going to be happy with yourself. Oh, that was supposed to be red, Jason. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. What are you confused about? Visually stimulating. I know. Yeah. Poor guy. Poor guy. Guy had to wake up with a kid last night. I didn't sleep last night. Oh man, that's the saddest thing I've ever heard. All right, so right, just plug it in. Order of operation again, Cheyenne. They want these parentheses in case. Right, if this is a negative 3 right here, then you would be squaring a negative. You don't want to get mixed up. So just that's what the number is. That's what you're going to do. All right, so what do we got? What's it going to be? X minus first, so 3 squared is what? 9. 9, good. So then we got 25 plus 9 minus, do we do anything with the 7? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's just, now it's just minus 7. So now it's just left to right. So 25 plus 9 is... I'm asking anyone. I'm just worried I'm not going to see you again for a week, so I'm just making sure I know you are. I know you are. <laughs> All right, 34 minus 7? 27. 27, all right. Man. I was supposed to be writing this. So, whatever you want to do. <laughs> yes. It's up to you, you know. Cheyenne, uh, about picking one more. You guys are doing 15 to 28, so pick one more. 28, she went big time. Yeah. All right. Cheyenne, check, make sure I don't mess up. I've been known to look at different problems. You know that, though. It's amazing how much better this works when you get a... How is she like the, um, What is that called before the three... A bracket? The bracket? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah, same thing as parentheses. It's just to keep them separate. Because if you get a bunch of parentheses together, it's kind of hard. You know, it's hard to see. Yeah, so just treat it exactly the same. A is seven. Man, we didn't do any negatives. Wow. How about that? All right. So first thing first, I would use parentheses. I'm going to use parentheses because I like them. Plus, I draw them really well. Okay. One day with a lot of practice, Joe, you can draw parentheses just like that. Don't do it, you know, practice first, though. You know, if you get too far ahead of yourself, you might look kind of silly. I'm going to add a bracket in there because just to, just because like what I was telling Jay, uh, Jason there. Yeah, so we can keep them all separate. 
Although that kind of is weird, isn't it? I think I added too many. All right, nothing's changed then. How's that? Does that look okay? All right, so, right, that's the easy part. Now you just got to evaluate by order of operations. PEM, P, parentheses, which include brackets. We could call that B pen boss. You wanna, what do you do first, like three? So, yeah, so you want to go, so you're going across, and this one doesn't really count, right, because there's nothing inside of it. So then you go to this, and now it counts, and now you reset. Okay, PEMDAS again, so now you're in here. Okay, and then you go inside and say, okay, PEMDAS again. So basically you're going to the very inner set of parentheses. So right here, 7 minus 5, what's that give you? What is it? 2. Okay. So it's 3 times 2. Okay. So now again, you reset, right? PEMDAS again. Uh, uh, so nothing inside those parentheses, but we can't do something inside these. So what is that? Six. Okay, so then we're going to leave this as seven squared minus six. And what do you just do about exponents? So exponents now, so what's seven squared? Forty-nine. Forty-nine minus thirty-six. Which is Thirteen. How's that?